Hello, welcome to Mathematics Pro. So today we are going to calculate the surface area of a hollow cylinder. So let's get started. The first thing you need to understand is that a hollow cylinder has is made up of two bays and the base is in the form of a wing. So we have a base at the top and another wing down. So what is the formula of a circle? So we can see we have two radius. So we have the radius of the external circle and the radius of the internal circle. So the radius of a circle is pi r square. So we are going to have the, the radius of the external circle minus the radius of the internal circle. So if we factorize this, we are going to have pi bracket r square minus r square and remember I said we have two rings one at the top and the other in the bottom so we need to write times two okay to continue further we can apply the principle of factorization of different of two squares so we can we write this as two pi r plus r times r minus r. We can use the principle of different of two squared. So we can end at that point for the base area. Now let's look at the lateral area. So looking at a hollow cylinder, we can see we have a cylinder, an internal cylinder with no base. So we have a cylinder here and we have inner and outer cylinder so normally to get the surface area of a cylinder we need the circumference times the height circumference of a circle so we are also going to have the circumference so we are going to have the circumference of the circle plus the circumference because we need this material so circumference of the circle times the height and circumference of the circle times the height we need to sum them up. So we are going to have pi, the second form of a circle is 2 pi r times the height h plus 2 pi r times h. We can as well factorize. If we want to factorize what is common, we have 2 pi h, 2 pi h. So we are going to have 2 pi h bracket r plus r. So what we are trying to do is to come up with the formula. Then if you know the formula, maybe you can memorize it and use it. So we can see that we have these two areas and this one. So we are going to factorize further. So looking at these two, we can see what is common. So we can see that we have... 2 pi r plus r is common, 2 pi r plus r is common. So if we, we write this, we are going to have 2 pi r plus r is common. So we'll be left with here, we'll be left with r minus r, you can put it in the bracket r minus r and here we'll be left with only h so plus h so this has been factorized so this is the formula that you can use you can use this formula whenever you're calculating the surface area of a hollow cylinder so this is surface area so let us plug in the values to come up with the surface area so surface area will be equal to 2 pi, we can use pi to be 22 over 7, 2 bracket 22 over 7. Next, we have to continue r plus r. So if we add r plus r, it's going to give us 14. So if we add 7.5, 
plus 6.5 will give us 14. Bracket. 7.5 minus 6.5 is 1. Plus the height. The height is the height is 10. Okay, so we can simplify further. So if we try to simplify, we can say 14 divided by 7 is 2. So we are going to have this divided by this will give us 2. So this we are going to have 2 times 22 is 44. 44 times 2 is 88. 88 bracket here if we add this up we are going to have 11 so surface area will be equal to 88 times 11 88 times 11 will give us 968 with unit centimeter square so thanks for watching please subscribe